Some of the extreme weather concerns from coast to coast heading into the weekend include very cold air and high winds. Here's a look at the situation across the nation. As the storm system exits off the east coast, it continues to bring some very wet weather and some messy conditions to the northeast. And behind that system, an area of high pressure settles into the Ohio River Valley and across the southeast. Temperatures are plummeting as the sky is clearing out and temperatures are dropping back below freezing. And we have freezing concerns across portions of the southeast, especially overnight tonight. But there's plenty of sunshine. The next big weather maker is starting to push in from the Pacific. It's already bringing wet weather to portions of Washington and Oregon, and it will continue to track eastward just north of the Canadian border, bringing some wet weather to portions of Montana, to the Dakotas, and eventually into the upper Midwest as we head into the second half of the weekend. For today, as that front moves across the high plains, the biggest concern will be for not only fire danger, but also for very high winds. Those winds will be picking up throughout the afternoon, and they'll be sustained up into the 30, 40 mile an hour range with gusts at times up to around 60 miles per hour. So that is going to create some travel concerns. For that reason, we do have that high wind warning in effect for all these gold shaded areas stretching from central Montana into the Dakotas for uh, the day today. Across the southeast, this is where it's going to be especially cool. Freeze warnings for the light blue shaded areas as temperatures drop down to right around that freezing mark overnight tonight. And it's going to be especially cold in these darker blue shaded areas. That is where we have a hard freeze warning in effect. And temperatures will be down into the 20s for a prolonged period of time. So use care to protect sensitive vegetation in those areas. Check back here for more updates.